Alright, so today we have Francis Fernandez, the captain of Gunners. Um, thank you for coming and doing this interview for the Alpha 101 series. Um, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Pleasure. So, um, being captain of the Gunners, um, we, I'd like to start in the beginning. Yeah. Where did this team, how did this team form? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. It's a good question. Um, a lot of us played basketball for our, college, for our colleges, so mm -hmm. our top teams. Yeah. Um, and then once we graduated uh, and finished college, we were wondering, so what's going to happen now mm -hmm. uh, in terms of still playing basketball in a competitive way. So group put me and my friends from different colleges as well. We're like, that's not, why not make a team? That's so uh, us Gunners, we started all the way from the C grade on Tuesday nights. Really? Yeah, so we started all the way in C grade. We won a couple of championships there. Obviously, um, we started to get a bit more talent as well in terms mm -hmm. of better players uh, come through. So we won a couple of championships in the B grade. Uh, so this was back in the midweek mm -hmm. with the one to basketball and then we won an A grade championship. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's just like a collection of like real good mates. We love basketball, mm -hmm. uh, we love playing and decided to just put a team together and well, here we are today, you know, Gunners. That's pretty cool, I didn't actually know that. Yeah, so, only, it was the first time I saw you guys were in A grade. Yeah, A grade, exactly. Yeah. So, so we've been around the block for a while. Um, oh, around man. what year were you? So I think cool. we start. I think I formed a team back in... So I finished college in 2012, mm -hmm. so 2013 I think is the, oh, okay. the first year we started. So yeah, we've been together for around six years now and gone through different grades and obviously we stayed in A grade for a while and I think that's where you, where you yeah. saw us. Um, so yeah, no, that's how that's how we formed. Just just essentially like a, a group of brothers that yeah. you know, love to play a game of basketball, share each other's company. Mm -hmm. that, I think that's the main, the main thing. That's cool. But also, you know, yeah. basketball's our sport. So. Right. Yeah. And so almost seven years now, seven yeah. years, yeah. Yeah, going on to it, so it's been, yeah. That's pretty cool. It was, oh. Yeah, slowly building up as well, so, yeah. How did the um, name Gunners come along? I don't know really, like, I think... Um, I think it's because of the style we played, so... I was talking to, like, Ben Lantern, who's in our team, and, like, Rocky, and some of the old players that we used to have, like, Tom Bell at the end. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it, it's, it's because... In our team, we have a lot of Filipinos, so we're mostly short, and uh, we needed to get some height. So that's where our, our like good mates, such as like some Kiwis or Moldies, come in. Our Petoni is someone, and our pet. We because we've always been small and undersized against like Thunder and Herd. Yeah, we've yeah. always been used to playing such a fast, hectic pace because that's the only way our advantage. You know, we can win games, and. Like, I don't know, I'm always like run and gun, so the gunners, you know, uh, always running, quick out the block, tire out the bigger teams, because we're always undersized, yeah. um, just because everyone's a lot bigger, but yeah, I think that's that's how it came about, just our style of play as well. You mentioned that you love um, the run and gun style. Yeah. So you're not old enough to have <laughs> been around for the Showtime Lakers, so no. would that influence been from the Steve Nash? Yeah, I would say, yeah. Yeah, like um, under, under eight second, oh, eight, eight second yeah, under eight second offense. Okay. Um, for us, I think the guns came about because we pressure pressure on the ball, defense, mm. get turnovers, and we just run. Okay. Um, every time we play against other teams, we're like man, you guys keep running, and we're so tired, keep running, and we're like that's the only way we can you know stay competitive. If we go to a half court set, maybe we can get through. But yeah, so I reckon that Steve Nash, Phoenix Suns team, uh, definitely draw a lot of inspiration from there. And yeah, okay. we just love to run. Yeah. Do you guys find your most difficult matchups against the bigger teams that want to slow the game yes, down? Yes, for sure, and... 100%. Okay. So teams that run with us, it's more of our tempo and our style, so we enjoy it. Yeah. But big teams who have quality players around such as them, like let's for example, Thunder and Herd, yep. Automatic Bombers, as some examples, they like to bang it down low. Mm -hmm. And that's where, because we're on the sides, so if they play half court sets and they know to minimize our transition yeah. game, that's where we struggle a bit because then we have to expend a little bit more energy. So we actually expend more energy on our half court sets yeah. than our transition game. So for sure, if a, if a, if a team grounds us, if we don't get as much transition fast break points, mm. then we're going to have a big night ahead of us. So. Do you guys work on your half courts, or do you guys talk about your half court sets in case that scenario does happen? Against yeah, the teams? good question. Um, like because we all played for the you know top teams in our respective colleges. Yeah. We 
know how to kind of like freelance it but in a structured way. Mm -hmm. um, we rarely do any practices. Yeah. Um, I think that's sheer reliance on playing quick outside shooting. So we have some of the best shooters in the league in mm -hmm. Ben and Anthony Lenton, the brothers. Yeah. Uh, even Rocky, uh, Rocky Larico can um, hit it up. Karen is a, is a big man, can stretch it out. Mm -hmm. So no, we don't we don't we don't have practices where we practice our half court sets. Um, try to run some high lows on ball screens, hit mm -hmm. the forty fives, go from the yep. wings, and attack. So I think it's just um, every player in the gun has have a, has a high IQ, so we can mm -hmm. identify where we can best attack it. You won't see us a lot of times just trying to dribble one on one and beat a man one on one because we know that's not effective basketball. Yep. Use up twenty seconds and you have to put up a shot in the last seconds. So yeah. Hmm. So do you guys mostly come up with your strategies before game or during mid game? Something's not working, then you start changing things up. Yeah, yeah. I think our chat before the games is always just run. <laughs> like that's our bottom line: run and gun, just run. Right. Put some pressure on D and run. But um, no, we we can adjust um, mid game. Um, I mean, one example is our game against uh, Hoopers for the second game season. We decided to go against Man to shut down Was that Sam. Your idea? Yeah, oh, uh, where Sam, Sam Bray's effectiveness yeah. uh, and you know make everyone else and the other teams have to beat us. So we, we, are, we are able to switch it up, whether that's defensive schemes or even the offensive mm. schemes. Um, but bottom line is just always run gun. Like if we ain't running, then that's not really the way guns play. But we, I'm pretty sure. Will either be struggling or we'll be behind. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I when I've watched you guys, how I'm quite amazed because you don't see many social or recreation teams able to switch from a zone defense, a, an effective right. two three. Yeah. And you guys don't really use three two much, but no. an effective two three mm. and then change to an effective man. Yeah. Because man is much more hard. You got to oh, work yeah, hard for sure, for on sure. zone. You know, I mean, you yeah. just sit there and yeah. wait, you know protect your zone. Create so, your space. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I'm actually quite impressed by that. How yeah. you guys are able to still maintain your effectiveness when you're switching up defenses. And I think that just goes back to because I'm pretty sure most of us played for college. Yeah. So we were used to uh, switching it up, um, and it's yeah just a trend. As long as there's the communication mm -hmm. uh, between all of us. Um, because more times than not, our fast break, our running gun style comes from our defense. Yeah. Where we force the turnovers, and that's why we just bang straight yeah. onto it. So, uh, yeah, if, if it calls, we've got a lot of high IQ players and a lot of like leaders in the team as well. So, someone will identify being hey, this ain't working, mm -hmm. and you switch it up, and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we have to revert, and we'll, you know, work all around as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you say is the personality? your team like what different personalities are there because I, I see I see you guys every week <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah just a little insight into it's different good. yeah 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 fair enough I mean you've got the laid-back quiet assassins and the Lantern Brothers <laughs> um, sometimes you will hear us screaming at them to talk on defense mm. but that's just their way they're just silent assassins yeah. and you know you, it's one of those where you're either quiet they probably don't know how to play and all of a sudden they're jacking up like eight threes in your face then you've got the more emotional, uh, yeah, a lot of heart players in like Karen, yeah. uh, Craig, and even myself and Rocky. Um, and we've got a nice, we've got a nice variety, mm -hmm. and I think we all work together. Um, so there's yeah, some people who are like real, real fiery, not really in the in people in play other players' faces, but you know like loud. Yeah. While others are just you know quiet in the back but still working hard. Yeah. Like as a whole, we all expect the same out of each other, mm -hmm. where you play like 120 percent, go all out, um, and it, we it's a type of team in which we can go to another person and be like, hey, you did this, you know, you were in the wrong assignment defensively, mm -hmm. or an offense, you're not know, passing on an open look or uh, you know swinging it. Um, so everyone is, yeah, everyone has a great uh, connection, relationship with each other um, and there's no, you know, there's no uh, inside drama. No divas? So. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. I mean, <laughs> if I could say, probably uh, the most would get is probably Karen uh, and the refs, but that's just who he is and we love him yeah, for yeah, yeah. it. Because that's just, you know, that's his heart, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'd rather that than someone who just doesn't do anything at all in terms of, you know, just yeah, in the care. back. Yeah, yeah. doesn't care. Yeah. So, 
Uh, we, yeah, we, we manage care, but we love him to death, so yeah. we, we, we keep telling him to do his thing. Do you guys get in each other's faces when you when you, someone's doing something wrong? Um, I think or in the moment... Hold each other accountable. Yeah, accountable. Yeah. So I think in the moment we will. So like, someone will go up and be like, hey, like, if I can pass the ball or something like that, you know, just pass it. Yeah. Or you gotta rotate, you gotta hustle more D. But we don't take it personally because we all know that we're all striving for that one goal. Mm -hmm. uh, to be the best, you know, best we can. Yeah, every team has the goal of winning a championship, that's yeah. what everyone aspires to. So if we can hold each other accountable, and I think that's that comes with playing together for such a long yeah. time. So because we've been playing for like seven years, it's like we know what you can do on your best. So we can identify when someone's like, oh, you're kind of playing like 7%, mm -hmm. rare it up. And you can see, you know, um, if someone hustles on defense, let's say Miko gets a seal or a rebound, mm -hmm. goes coast coast, you know, our team will go crazy. Yeah. Uh, same with like Hugo and a strong rebound and push. So, yeah, no, we definitely hold each other accountable. And I see that um, you and Rocky are probably the most vocal in this. Oh, yeah. Like Rocky is like, oh, yeah. it's really good to see him encouraging. When someone oh, does yeah. something good, he yells out the name. Yeah. Like, Way to go, Fee! Yeah. And stuff like that. 100%. And I see you always yelling on the sidelines yeah. and stuff like that, on defense. Mm -hmm. so it's great. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, that's like the individual leadership as well. Because yeah. it doesn't take much to be a leader or be a, like, you know, be a figure in a team. And that's that's part of what me and Rocky were like, we're always vocal. I'm pretty sure if you listen to like our games on YouTube, you'll just hear me, like, yeah. Yorkin, or you hear Rocky. Um, and it, it, that, that's part of the accountability as well, because then everyone can hear it as well on defense. Mm -hmm. So as a team, you need to communicate and work as a team to you know, shut down. So, yeah, um, I guess no. that's, 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 what, that's what we do. Like. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah. For you as captain, yeah. did you put yourself as captain, or did it just come naturally? It's a good question. Uh, I think I've always naturally been somewhat of a leader. Your personality-wise? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's cool. I'm quite a sociable person mm. who loves to get to know everyone, and in situations, not one who will always step and be like, hey guys, I'm always the leader, blah, 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 like that. Yeah. But one who will like lead by example, but also, you know, take initiative when, when it's needed. Yeah. Um, and yeah, throughout, throughout playing basketball ever since uh, my younger days and then playing because a lot of us play in the Filipino League so we played age group uh, mm -hmm. reps. Mm -hmm. I've just always had a knack of being a loud mouth, but in a good way, I guess, you know. Yeah. Um, and they've gotten used to that. Like, they'll always call me like Coach Fran or, you know, and I, I always take it from like, you know, inspiration from the NBA, so, you know. The KG? KG. Always you know, talking, always communicating. Always yeah, exactly. Together. You know, uh, Chauncey Billups, yep. always leading by it. Even Kobe Bryant uh, with the like, mentality. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to put my teammates down, but I will hold them accountable because yeah. I know, I know what they're capable of. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, you know, you didn't do that. You didn't do that Simon right. Or you didn't uh, go take that shot when you should have. And I know you can. Next time, look at it. So you know, it's always encouraging. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I guess it's just always been my personality. So, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That saying though, everyone, there's other captains or leaders in the team. Yeah. So even though it's a it's a title, mm -hmm. it's not just one leader. Every you know, everyone plays a role for other leaders to step up to. That's cool. Yeah. Well, from when you guys started till now. Yeah. How has Gunners evolved? I know obviously you guys have gotten more talent and better, but in other ways, how has the team evolved? Yeah. What was the difference between then and now? I think we are a lot tighter because um, obviously we were battling the wars and trenches together against mm -hmm. the big teams. Um, it's become a brotherhood, oh, I can okay. say. It's not just a team anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not just a collection of players coming together. We're actually we're actually like brothers. We play. That's cool. Um, we have like a like a wider network. So we have some players who did play for us. They're either injured or just are not able to commit. Mm -hmm. So we have probably like a pool of maybe 15, 16 players. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. So like one of our players for was Jordan Hamlin. Mm -hmm. um, used to be St. Pat Senior A's, Wellington Reps. He went over in America to help coach. Mm -hmm. um, so he used to play for us. We had like Tony Groom. Yep. Uh, Matt Davies was also one of our um, one of our stable people. Uh, he moved over to Australia. So mm. I, again, when it comes to like the gunner, it's like you know who's actually available. But it's like you know we're, it, it's like a brotherhood. That's so cool. outside of outside of basketball, we 
we like to hang around with each other. Um, we have a tradition after every season, championship or not, we go to Hotel Bristol. Because uh, we usually play on the Wednesday nights mm -hmm. in the, in the, a, in yeah, the yeah. a League. So, um, Hotel Bristol had two foreign burgers, that used to be our <laughs> tradition after every season. Yeah. Uh, even in fact, if we, like, when I lose today, we're going to go. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, I'll, you know, in terms of looking cool. at it, it's the like a brotherhood. Where are you guys going tonight? Uh, I say hotel. Oh, the hotel. Yeah, hotel. hotel what's, the, what's the deal tonight? I'm not you know? too sure actually. <laughs> not being on Sunday, but I'm, 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 I'm sure they'll have something for us. Eh? Like hopefully. Have you guys? They know you as regulars, eh? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Like they yeah. know that we always come to like, a big group, and yeah. they're always like, oh, okay, yeah, how does it get? You know, you guys just come after the game because more times than not, we'll actually come straight just on our like basketball gears. Uh, I remember like yeah, a couple, a couple of years ago, we just come on a basketball and bounce. It's like, oh yeah, now you guys are all good. It's like you know, you could tell that we were just there, yeah. share a couple of drinks get some food, just enjoy, you know, each other's company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'd say it's, a, it's like a brotherhood now. That's really cool. Not yeah. many teams, you see them playing mm -hmm. on weekdays or weekends. Exactly. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah. special. All yeah. right. Last question. Cool. Do you see Gunners playing for the foreseeable future? How? What's the future for Gunners, would you say? Right, right. It's just like in Alpha League or just in a wider process? Uh, wider, 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 wider yeah. perspective. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't see us stopping. Um, we love playing together, we're brothers. Because you guys did take like a, what, it was a year and a half off yeah, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, the reason we did that, so that was last year, is because mm. a few of us were going to overseas. Okay. And because we had been playing for like five years straight, every Tuesday, Wednesday night, break. work, it started to have a little break. Some people had injuries as well, okay. so it was good to freshen up. Um, and then this opportunity came where you invited us to play in Alpha League and initially if I can say we were actually going to go A grade but because we had not played together in a while, like a year or so, we knew we'd be rusty. Yeah. So we thought this was a perfect opportunity, yeah. this is a new league yeah. um, and we've had like the best time as well. Like, oh, massive, congr uh, massive kudos to you and your, your team. Thanks. Like we've, we've enjoyed every experience and we're hoping to you know, push it through but yeah for sure we're, we're going to continue we're going to continue playing. Um, again, it might come down to uh, do we have numbers? Uh, the commitment. <laughs> you guys have sixteen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I, I don't see us. I don't see us stopping. We're, That's cool. We we love basketball. We're like diehard fans. We we love playing the game. You know, it's our passion. So yeah, for sure. You mean like a team in your forties or fifties? Oh, I remember it could go all the way yeah, <laughs> until we until we can't run anymore, I guess. <laughs> I hope that never happens, but you know, if you, you cool. get to the Golden Oldies League. Yeah. But yeah, for sure, as long as long as we can, I don't see us like, stopping. So. What's your prediction for tonight? Uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a finals <laughs> game. Uh, anything can happen. I, I always say like the hungrier team will, will get it. It doesn't mm -hmm. even matter about talent. Um, yeah, I have every faith in yeah. uh, our boys to do the necessary things to get over the line. But nah, I'm not one to go over the line and be like, we're champs. That's cool. You know, I respect um, that. Yeah, because it, it, it's, a, it's a game of hit and miss. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But I for sure, I can guarantee you we're going to be going out there 120% competing, and yeah. Yeah. competing, man. So, and, you know, bottom line, if we win championship, great feeling, amazing. If we don't win it, not as a great feeling, but we're still, you know, to come second to a bad place. Yeah. But you know, everyone wants to be a champion. So yeah. yeah, we'll be we'll be digging deep for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It was an honor to have you. Yeah, and uh, for wish you good me. luck tonight. Yeah, thank you. It was real good. Thanks, Thanks man. Cheers.